Hello everyone, this is Shooter Fantasy, and today we're going to be talking about DRM. And what sparked this for me is, recently heard of this fan game called Sonic Gather Battle. And apparently it's a good fan game, except it has some very malicious malware, or some very malicious DRM. That is very close to being malware. Practically is malware. It does things like um, check every process running on your computer, seeing what you search on Google. If you search Sonic, Sonic Gather Cheats while the game is running, it will immediately close the window. It will write to the Windows registry to do certain things to the game. It will... Uh, It'll actually write to the registry to lock you out of the game, actually. Um, but yeah. Um, so, if this game detects you're cheating, either by searching Google for Sonic Gather Cheats, it'll search for those keywords and shut the process down immediately. Um, it also will search your entire computer to see if you have any cheat, t cheat tools, like Cheat Engine and whatnot. You don't even have to have it open, supposedly. It'll go through your file system... Search for things like Cheat Engine and react to it. Also, if you have Cheat Engine open, it'll immediately close the process and it, the game itself will put itself in a mode where it, you can no longer play it properly anymore. It'll also do some kind of creepypasta-esque stuff to people that it detects as cheaters. The other thing it will do as well, though, is it will store your system details online in a whitelist, blacklist type of thing. So it will, it will have access, identifiable information about your computer stored online without your permission. And holy crap, that's like worse than Denuvo. And I hate Denuvo. But this DRM that I'm looking at here, this seems like the kind of DRM I would have written if I was a kid thinking that I'm going to make this ultra powerful DRM that auto searches and does all the stuff no you don't no you don't you don't do that you don't modify stuff on a person's computer you don't close programs on a person's computer without their consent you don't do stuff like that and really DRM as a whole is worthless it's pointless DRM only acts to punish the people who legitimately buy a product and in, in this case it's a fan game so it's free so why the, the fact there's DRM to begin with doesn't make any sense apparently the person added DRM to this game to protect their art assets from getting stolen. But considering it's a fan game, copyright and such is not... Uh, it, it just doesn't make sense in my brain. You're already making a fan game. You're, you're concerned about your sprites being stolen. But whatever. Let's talk about DRM now as a whole. And talk about why it's completely worthless. I've already said before that it punishes the people who purchase thing legitimately to begin with. Or acquire something legitimately to begin with. Because it just hinders their enjoyment. It runs in the background. It's extra processing power being dedicated to something else that's not critical to the game itself actually running. And... People are going to hack the game anyway. The peop very people you're trying to prevent from tampering with whatever you don't want being tampered with, they're going to crack it anyway. And your effort in adding that DRM will be for naught because it's going to get dismantled. And the people who play the DRM-free version of whatever you have created will have a much better experience because the DRM is gone. That's extra processing power not being used for DRM. 
that there's less loopholes that a person has to go through to run that game. We've just left hoops that legitimate buying customers have to go through for no reason. People who have cracked it don't have to go through those hoops. So you've basically only harmed the people, the very people who are supporting you. And the very people who you're trying to protect yourself from have the better experience. It's just not worth it. And to have DRM in a fan game that's worse than the Nouveau. It's... People already called the Nouveau malware. So... If you go a step further and you're closing apps, you're closing a person's web browser because it has certain keywords that relate to your game and cheating, you're writing, messing around with the computer's registry system so that you can lock the game in, permanently lock the game so the person can never play it again. It just makes no sense. And apparently this game, I don't even think it's online. I don't think this is even an online game. So, who are you, who's the person, if I were to hack a single player game, who am I affecting? I'm affecting me, myself, and I. So if I want to hack a single player experience, why does it matter? But I just don't understand. I don't understand. I can't comprehend this level of just malicious DRM. If you want to protect your art assets, this kind of DRM is too extreme. People are not going to play your game now. People are not going to want to play your fan game. So if that was the intent, if the intent was to um, punish people for playing your game, then you've certainly done it. And if you wanted, and if your intent was to get rid of the people who uh, might hack it, um, any sort of things you've done with this are easy to get around. I could easily put this game in a sandbox on a virtual machine with the restore point and eventually crack through whatever DRM you've put in here, remove it, and quite easily reverse engineer the very thing that you're trying to protect against. So in the end, DRM not worth it. You've only pissed the people you've only pissed people off who might actually want to play it and the actual people who are were going to cheat with it to begin with if they really want to cheat or if they really want to get your art assets which I guess that's what you're protecting from it's gonna what you've done is for naught. It will be cracked and that will be that. So yeah, that's basically it. That's, I have nothing more to say. DRM's useless. Don't use it. You're just going to tick people off. Just leave it out. So with that all said, if you guys want to keep up with my future content, feel free to subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys next time.